safe and healthy at home. Come, let me show you something very interesting. This is a bunch of magnesium metal wire and I have taken a small piece of it in my hand and now I am going to heat it in the flame of Bunsen burner. Let us see what is going to happen. Can you see magnesium metal strip is getting born with a dazzling white light. Isn't it beautiful? Can you tell me what has just happened here? What has happened in the last activity is this. You see, magnesium metal strip was getting burned in the presence of oxygen present all around us with a dazzling white light to produce white powder of magnesium oxide. Can you see that magnesium metal is an element, oxygen is an element whereas magnesium oxide is a compound. So what we have observed here that magnesium metal which is having a very different chemical composition is getting reacted with oxygen gas which is again having a different chemical composition to form a substance which again is having a different chemical composition. So what type of change is this? In which two chemical substances with different chemical composition are getting reacted to produce a new substance with a different chemical composition? Can you tell me what type of change is this? Yes, absolutely correct. This is a chemical change. And chemical change is normally observed during different chemical reactions. A chemical reaction is the process of breaking of chemical bonds of the reactants and making of new bonds to form products. Now what are reactants? These are those pure substances which are taken before chemical reaction. These substances are normally allowed to react under different conditions of temperature and pressure and when they react, they form new chemical substances like C and D here. So it is a normal representation or a general representation of a chemical reaction where the reactants are getting reacted to form products with different chemical composition. Understood everyone? Now, chemical reaction, when we say is the process of breaking of chemical bonds which are present in the reactants and making of new bonds of the product, so naturally it requires an appreciable energy change and also, it takes place in more than one way. Like, for example, in some cases, the reactants involved can be pure elements. And in some other cases, the reactants involved can be two pure compounds. So, depending upon which type of reactants are participating in the chemical reaction, we can categorize our chemical reactions into four categories. First one is the category of combination reaction. Second one is the category of simple displacement reaction. Third one is the category of decomposition reactions. And fourth one is the category of double displacement reaction. Okay? The activity which we have seen a few moments before actually was showing the combination type of reaction. Can you tell me how? Here, what has happened children, that magnesium metal, which is an element, got combined with another element, oxygen. They form new bonds between themselves and they form a new compound, magnesium oxide. So can you see, can you observe that magnesium atom is getting combined with oxygen atoms to form a new bond between the two atoms to form this compound. Okay, so two simple substances are getting reacted to produce
produce a complex compound substance. So it is nothing but a combination reaction. So combination word comes from combine. Okay, the combining of the two atoms is taking place here. Is it clear, everyone? Yes. Now, this type of reaction can also be observed when sometimes two compounds react under different conditions of temperature and pressure to form a new complex compound. Let us see that reaction also. See, we can have combination reaction of this type too, where a compound ammonia can very well react with a compound HCl, okay, to produce a substance that is ammonium chloride. Fumes of ammonium chloride will be formed. Okay, so can you please observe that the first reactant present here is a compound substance, ammonia. The second reactant present here is also a compound substance, HCl. And they both are getting combined in such a manner that they are giving rise to a complex chemical substance as a product called as ammonium chloride. So both the molecules are getting combined. The bonds are formed between the two to form a new complex substance, ammonium chloride. So this is again an example of combination reaction. Okay, combination reactions are also known as synthesis reaction. What is the meaning of synthesis? It is to make something, to synthesize something from different simple substances. Okay, so we are synthesizing here ammonium chloride from ammonia and HCl. So it is an example of synthesis reaction also. Understood? Now, let us come to second type of chemical reaction. This is known as simple displacement reaction. Now let me show you something to actually demonstrate in front of you a case of simple displacement reaction. Here in this beaker also, I have taken small amount of dilute hydrochloric acid and to this hydrochloric acid, I am going to add a few pieces of zinc metal strip. Okay, this is zinc metal strip. Now I am going to add it to this beaker which contains dilute hydrochloric acid and just see what is the change observed. Can you see some kind of reaction is taking place which actually evolves some kind of gas and it is creating a brisk effervescence, enormous bubbling. Let me show you one more time. I am taking another piece of zinc metal strip and I am going to add it into dilute hydrochloric acid. Can you see this brisk effervescence, enormous bubbling which is taking place here? Now why it is happening and what is the reason behind it? See, the case is that this brisk effervescence which we are getting here is again observed due to a chemical change. Okay, which is taking place because of this chemical reaction which is taking place between zinc metal strip and hydrochloric acid. Now let me write the reaction for you. Okay, now the activity which we have seen actually can be very well observed like this. Uh, let me write here the reaction for you. Here what is happening? Zinc metal strip is getting reacted with hydrochloric acid to form or to evolve hydrogen gas and also to form the soluble salt zinc chloride. Okay? The main feature of this reaction is the evolution of hydrogen gas which you have observed when brisk effervescence was evolved. 
So that brisk effervescence was present due to the evolution of this hydrogen gas. Now can you see that in this reaction at the reactant side we have one simple element and we have one compound substance and this element zinc is able to replace or displace. This element zinc is able to displace hydrogen from hydrochloric acid. And when zinc metal displaces hydrogen from hydrochloric acid, it will surely combine with chlorine part to form the salt substance zinc chloride. So what has happened? Zinc has taken the place of hydrogen here. Zinc has displaced hydrogen from the molecule of HCl to form the salt substance zinc chloride and the hydrogen which got displaced from the molecule actually combined with its own atom to form this hydrogen gas molecule. Okay? So what kind of reaction is this? This is a simple displacement reaction. And why we are calling it simple displacement reaction? Because here the displacement of only one type of atom is taking place. Okay, the displacement of only hydrogen atom is taking place by zinc. So it is called as simple displacement reaction. Understood? And you can have different other examples of simple displacement reaction. In place of zinc you can very well make use of iron also. You can make use of uh, magnesium metal also and other active metals also which have the ability to show this kind of displacement of hydrogen atom from hydrochloric acid. Clear everyone? I hope you have understood this. Now let us come to third type of chemical reaction and that is known as decomposition reaction. Let me show you something. This is a bright green color copper carbonate salt and now I am going to heat it directly on the flame of Bunsen burner. Let us see what will happen here. Can you see? The green color dry salt of copper carbonate is getting converted into black color substance. Which is this black color substance? What is happening here? Let us try to understand. In the last activity, the copper carbonate salt got converted into black color substance which is copper oxide and also during this reaction carbon dioxide gas will be evolved okay so can you see this compound complex compound substance copper carbonate which is of bright green color is thermally decomposed here the complex molecule is getting decomposed or is getting split into two new chemical substances which are also compound but they are simple compound substances. So a bigger complex molecule of copper carbonate compound is getting thermally decomposed to produce the main product the black color copper oxide which is a simple compound and so carbon dioxide which is a colorless or the less gas here. So we, are, we were not able to see carbon dioxide gas evolution because carbon dioxide gas is a colorless, odorless gas. Okay? But there are other ways to identify the presence of carbon dioxide here. But the case is that the main reaction which is taking place here is the decomposition reaction. A bigger complex molecule of a reactant compound is getting decomposed into the molecule of simple compound. Okay? So this is third type of chemical reaction. Now let us come to fourth category of chemical reaction and that is known as double displacement reaction. Okay. Now moving towards double displacement reaction, 
I want to show you again one more activity to understand how the double decomposition reaction occurs. Okay? Let me take something. This is an aqueous solution of copper sulfate salt. Okay? I'm taking very small amount of copper sulfate solution into this clean empty test tube and now I'm going to add a few drops of sodium hydroxide solution to the test tube and let us observe what is going to form. Can you see this? On adding sodium hydroxide solution to this aqua solution of copper sulfate we are getting a pale blue precipitate kind of substance precipitate why i'm calling this substance a precipitate because it is an insoluble solid product formed in the solution medium so it is a pale blue precipitate of some kind of substance is getting formed here Okay, now how we can show this reaction, this chemical chain? Let us see how. So what I had taken as reactant, the first substance which I had taken was copper sulfate. Okay, so at first solution of copper sulfate was the first reactant used here and it is treated with the solution of ammonium, sorry, sodium hydroxide solution. Okay. Copper sulfate is getting treated with sodium hydroxide solution. Okay. And how many molecules of sodium hydroxide we require here? Two molecules. So, what is going to happen here? Please understand. Copper sulfate is an ionic compound. So it is present in aqua solution medium in the form of Cu plus 2 ion and SO4 2 minus ion. So this is a cation and this is an anion. Okay. Now, same way in case of sodium hydroxide compound, sodium is a cation and hydroxide ion definitely will form anion here. Okay, so what is going to happen in this double displacement reaction? All of you just observe this. What is going to happen is the cation of the salt will react with anion of the alkali. Okay, the cation of the salt will react with anion of the alkali to form a pale blue precipitate of copper hydroxide compound. And you know precipitate we normally write with the downward arrow. So I am writing it will form a pale blue precipitate of copper hydroxide compound. Okay. Along with that it will also produce, it will also produce the byproduct which is sodium sulfate salt. Okay, but it is present in soluble form, so it, it was not visible over there. So the only thing which was visible here was the pale blue precipitate of copper hydroxide. Now can you just see this that what is happening here? Copper ion is displacing hydroxide ion from the molecule of NaOH. Similarly, what is happening? What is happening? Sodium ion is displacing copper ion from the molecule of copper sulfate. So sodium is taking copper's place and copper is taking sodium's place. So two ions are displacing each other. So it is called double displacement reaction. Okay. So because of this double displacement reaction, the product which we obtained was copper hydroxide product, which is a double decomposed displaced product, 
and this also sodium sulfate. Okay, understood? So this is the fourth type of chemical reaction. So that's all for today's video. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you very much.